Tom Levine is a, a lawyer in the Century City, but also was three times Beverly Hills mayor. He was, I think you're the only person who was elected three times, right? The history of Beverly Hills. So he has not only just a, a, a attorney in a very successful firm, but also have done many, many other things. So true Renaissance man. Good afternoon, um, my name's Deborah. And I'm supposed to graduate in October. So my question for you is, uh, what type of law do you think is ideal for a paralegal to work in? We have, our firm is 130 lawyers. So we have about 80 who do litigation and 50 that do transaction work. I do mostly transaction work. And I'll tell you how I got into transaction work. Uh, quick answer to your question is litigation. We have a number of litigation paralegals and we have two transaction paralegals. And that's probably because most of the work that we do is complex litigation. But I started off for the first 10 years of my practice being a litigator. And in the 80s, I had a client who came to me and said, how would you like to do, I just bought this office building, how would you like to do the leasing? Never done the lease before. I said, I'm your guy, I'm an expert. Never did a lease before. So the first lease I did, I over lawyered because I was afraid. But at the end of the transaction, everybody went out to lunch and celebrated All, the other side. That doesn't happen a lot in litigation. So I, I like the transaction side better. In terms of getting jobs, if you're trained to be a litigation paralegal or a transaction paralegal, uh, you're going to have, in, in today's job market, if I was speaking to a class of young lawyers, it's real tough, but for paralegals, you're going to take their jobs. That's why it's better uh, get your degree in paralegal studies. If you're litigation paralegal, that's great. If you're transaction paralegal, um, the job market is a little smaller, but you're specialized. So if you came into our firm and said you were a transaction paralegal, they'd probably pay more attention to you because we don't get a lot of that. We have people who come in and say we're a litigation paralegal. Or the firm will go out to schools like this and say we need a paralegal. 